I'm out here on a Saturday. It's very cool. It's very almost drizzly, cloudy. Um, we've uh, had a cold front come through in the last couple days. It's been raining and it's been like a high in the 60s. Uh, lows in the 50s, like the temperature's not changing very much during the day. It's just staying very cool. Anyway, there's gonna be some noise today, unfortunately, uh, behind me here where you see that house there and you can see that light brown. They're building a fence for the house that's gonna go here. So we're gonna have two, two, two houses real close. That's awesome. And <laughs> it's what it is. It's what it is. It was all woods when we moved here. All behind us was woods. There was somebody right here. There was somebody right there. That's distracting. There was nobody behind us. Anyway, it's fine. Um, so I want to get some projects done. It is late in the day. It's like 3 p.m. Um, I was cleaning house because my mom's going to be here Monday because she's staying with me till the 28th. You know, like I'm, I might have mentioned that before in another video. I'm not sure um, to help me celebrate my birthday because how often does your baby your firstborn baby turn 50 only once yeah the garden's looking amazing by the way just so you know i have roses blooming i have salvia blooming zinnias are blooming peppers are turning red it's so pretty out here can i want to show you a few things i have a flipping watermelon moon and stars decided now instead of this summer um you know i had the hairy one i had the hairy watermelon over there well, this is a different one that i planted and it grew and vined and did all that all summer it never gave me a melon i came out here the other day <laughs> just to walk around and behind the hose bib thing it's a freaking watermelon let me show you okay if we come over here so all of this is my watermelon. Been growing all summer. It's getting out of the bed a little bit. It's going out the back. Watermelons seem to like to form where you can't see them. See, you don't see a watermelon here. Why? Because it's behind this pole. It's behind this pole. There it is. <laughs> so crazy. Yes, I don't know, a little bit smaller than a baseball. That's, that's fine, that's a moon and stars. You can see the little speckles on the leaves. So that's happening. That's interesting. Not crazy. It's crazy. Um, another fun thing over here in the circle bed, I had put a hanging basket of my strawberries, the yellow and red Wonder Blend. And so far, I had only seen the yellow, and they're tasty. They're sweet. They're delicious. So I was thinking all the seeds I did were just the yellow because I was only getting yellow ones. Well, finally, my other smaller basket is putting out strawberries and it's a red one and it is the brightest red. It is the most precious red. Anyway, let me show you. Look at that little red baby. How red is that? That is super red and super tiny. It's ready. It's so tiny. It's adorbs. Should we pick it? Maybe I'll pick it later. <laughs> but I do want to put a tag in there that says red. Oh, there. There we go. It's red. Anyway. So, the circle bed is looking good. It's flowering. That amaranth is taken off. My zinnias are still zinnying. My echinacea is doing great. My zinnias. Everything's just so tall and lush because the heat's gone. The rain is here. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. It's just right. There's my echinacea. Yeah. Everything looks beautiful. Like, look at all the red salvias. They're beautiful. Just beautiful red salvias. Oh, and I've got uh, bell peppers. These bell peppers are adorbs. And I do need to harvest some Jimmy Nardellos. Um, so my radish are not bulbing. They're just not bulbing. So I think we're going to plant some radish today. Just not getting any bulbs. Um, and I think it was too, it was just too hot when I planted them, I think. So we're going to redo the radish. Anyway, there's just so much, like, color still behind me. I'm loving all the color. So, this looking amazing. I want to have a bag of trash hanging up. I'm trying to clean up. 
I'm trying to be an adult. Uh, oh, and broccoli's still looking magnificent. Look at this broccoli. Broccoli's great. It's almost as tall as me. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. I know. Anyway, um, oh, and my pea. I keep finding things. My golden uh, sweet peas are starting to flower. Let me show you. Not pretty. Pretty purple. Beautiful. Yeah. We got a red zinnia down here, just out of nowhere. I don't know. Petunias are doing great. These um, peach peppers, forgot the name again. They're going banana pants. I bet there's a dozen peppers in here. At least a dozen peppers. Sugar Rush Peach, that's what it is. Now the coloring of the plant doesn't look good. <laughs> Looks chlorotic. But the fruit is just taking off. Yeah, that broccoli's doing amazing. I mean, I'm still pushing out baby figs. We're still pushing out figs. It's November 11th. Oh, and I do need to pick this patty pan. It's ready. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. Oh, and I was going to show you the beans. The cannellini beans um, are getting stripey. Yeah. Got lots of beans. Lots of beans. I'm real, real excited about that. Oh, and I do need to harvest uh, these seeds from the uh, four o'clocks. So, a bunch of seeds. Need to do that. Gotta do that. Okay. Oh, and there's the napa cabbage. It's starting to head up. So, it's starting to lift. But I didn't get any. Oh, there's a radish. I was going to say I didn't get any radish bulbing. That, that one bulbed a little bit. There. It's a little bit of a bulb. But we're going to do some more. And my sun gold. They're just falling all over the place. Haven't been able to eat them fast enough. Anyway. Sun gold. Um, also, unfortunately, um, when I came out here, I didn't realize my phone was almost dead. That's, that's my bad. Um, so I put it in the house for an hour to charge it. And while it was charging, I, uh, obviously everyone got out their tools. Um, while my phone was charging, I went ahead and picked, uh, the rest of my Roselle that was ready. Um, so I got a pretty good Roselle harvest here so I can make tea, uh, make tea. I can make tea, but I want to make some jam while my mom's here. I need that motorcycle to go back home. Anyway, why is everyone out here at dusk? So I'm not gonna have much time to do all the things I want to do because it's getting dark, it's getting light. Um, one of the things I wanted to do today is make a couple of salad bowls. I think I'll only have time to do one salad bowl today. So I have this bowl with some nice soil in it. This um, salad that I'm going to put in this bowl is one of my very, probably the favorite salad of my life. This is my favorite salad. And it is the Farmer's Market Blend from Botanical Interest. Okay, Farmer's Market Blend comes in a big packet. So what I'm going to do is make some pretty little salad bowls. And I'll probably put some in the beds too. Oh yeah. yeah there's all kinds of salad in here. It's beautiful. There's all kinds of little different colored seeds in there. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it in here. And it's just gonna look so pretty. Really beautiful. And these lettuces are just cut and come again. So I can come and just grab them like a ponytail. You just grab them, snip, 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 and they just regrow. It's wonderful, it's beautiful. Okay. There it is. And I'm just gonna lightly Just barely cover it with this good soil. This is my good rose soil. What's left? It's almost gone. I think I have enough left to maybe fill one more container and that's it. So since we've been getting rain, like it's drizzling right now, I'm pretty sure it's gonna drizzle overnight. I'm not gonna water this. Whew. Now before it gets too dark, I do wanna harvest. Um, some of the vegetables that are ready and take those inside. 
Um, and then we'll just have to come back out tomorrow early, like in the morning, um, and get the rest of the things done and then get this garden cleaned up because I gotta go back to work on Monday. Um, and I pick up my mom in the afternoon on my way home from work. So I need everything spit spot before she gets here. <laughs> That's a weird little banana pepper. It's like a little beak. These cubanelles are stunted, but I'll take them. Just so you know, long thin cayenne look exactly like Jimmy Nardello. It's dangerous. my biggest harvest of ahi lemon drops so far. Look how beautiful. I think we need to do a taste test. That's gorgeous. So my buena mulattas are kind of small. They're not that big, but they're really pretty. And they've really done a lot better since we've cooled off. So that's nice. Need to taste test. Got a red one. It might be too far gone, but I could try it. Pretty bok choy. Uh, <laughs> my clippers aren't sharp. Cause then it wouldn't cut it. Anyway, beautiful bok choy. We'll eat that tonight too.